it's Sarah from the Aging and Wellness Institute in Clearwater. I'm here to do yoga with you today. And it's Tuesday, terrific Tuesday. So I hope that you're having a great day thus far. We had our Tasty Tuesday with Kate. We had Catherine and Fitness at 10 a.m. And now I'm here at 1. So, so appreciative of you all. So happy to be here with you all week. Today we are going to start off lying down knowing that our practice can always be done at your own pace. Just do what you can, not to worry if there's something that you cannot do. And if you're feeling like you're up for more of a challenge, know that you can add in things as you'd like. This is your practice. And remember, the number one thing is to take care of you. So let's go ahead and get started because it's already one o'clock. Hi, Linda, welcome. We're gonna start off lying down and you can be in a chair. Like I said, you can be on your bed, you can be on the floor. Let's just begin our practice today with our knees knocked together and our feet wide. So the knees, the thighs are gently pressing towards one another. Rest your hands on your belly and take a few moments here to simply breathe. Maybe close your eyes. Take this time to relax, to slow down from the busy day. To begin again in this new moment. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Now I want you to try something. Try to elongate the exhale. The exhale is when we release our stress, when we release negativity, when we release toxicity. So very important part of the breath. So we're going to breathe in and now breathing out, but really extending that exhale as long as you possibly can. And every last drop of breath is released. Try that a few more times. Breathing in slow and deep and then breathing out even slower, even longer. Take one more breath, just like this here, guys. Breathe it in. And slowly let it all go. Notice how you feel after taking a few deep breaths. And now, as you breathe in through the nose, turn your head to the right. As you breathe out through your nose, turn your head to the left. Gently nodding your head no. Inhale to the right. And exhale to the left. Breathing in and out. One more time. Feel that massage for the back of the head, for the tops of the shoulders. And then come back to the center. Your head is on straight. Wiggle your fingers and toes a few times, and now walk the feet towards one another. You want a little bit of space between your feet. Now, the knees should point upward. If you're in the chair, you'll continue to work on those long, deep belly breaths we were just doing. If you're lying down, bring your hands by your sides. We're going to work into a bridge connecting the breath and the movement. 
breathing in, we start off here. As we exhale, squeeze your belly a little bit, engage those abs, and lift your hips towards the sky. Inhale down, this is so good for the pelvic floor. And exhale, slowly lift. So good for the belly and the back. Inhale down, so good for those quadriceps, the thigh muscles. And exhale, lift. Moving a few more rounds with your breath. This one is truly one of the best lower back exercises that we do in our practice. And exhale, lifting higher. One final time, one final time. Lift it up as high as you can now. Feel the stretch and then lower it down. Bring your knees towards your chest and rock side to side. Side to side. Massaging the lower, middle, and upper back now. And now bring your hands to your thighs. We're all going to come up, and you can come up however you need, whether it's turning onto your side, or maybe joining me in a little rolling like a ball exercise. Inhaling back, this is great for those abs again. Great for the whole back, and exhale lift. But again, listen to your body. If you're rolling like a ball, let's do that one final time, lifting up. And now, slowly, staying in the chair if you're seated today for your practice, we're coming to table. Tabletop pose is on all fours where your wrists should be right under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Now, Spread your fingers wide. If your wrists bother you, you can do this from your forearm. Open your knees just a tiny bit wider and begin to rock a little side to side. We're gonna wake up our hips now. Starting with some hip circles, you decide which way you wanna go. Breathing in and out. Again, we connect the breath with the movement, inhaling and exhale. Let's let this be slow. Enjoy it, enjoy the massage for the knees and the hip joints. Breathing in and out. One more time in this direction, guys. And then as we come forward, choose to reverse it. Continuing with your breath. Just a few more times, please, inhaling and exhaling. Breathing in and out. One more time, all the way around. And now, when you're ready, press those hips towards your heels. I'm opening my knees wider. If you can do the same, give it a try. Open those hips and take child's pose. Breathe it in and out. Breathing in and out. In this pose of surrender, let go of your jump today. Let go of your stress. Let's all take one more really big breath in now. Open your mouth and let out a sigh. Ha. Releasing every last drop of that exhale. Wiggling your fingers and toes and then coming back to your table. Slide your knees now under your hips. From here, we're going to take our right leg and stretch it back. And of course, knowing that if you're in the chair, you're gonna bring that right leg forward instead. Tuck your right toes under and press the heel back if you're on all fours like me. Breathing in and out. 
out, feel that stretch run up the back of the leg, the sciatic nerve and the hamstrings. Now look forward, squeeze your belly, your abdomen, and try lifting that right leg up. Hold that leg up here for a moment. Feel all the muscles that are hard at work. Breathing in and out. Now, simply take your right leg and cross it behind the left, tucking the toes under on the floor. This is a side stretch. If you're in the chair, cross that right foot in front of the left. Now, let's all turn our head to the left. Stay there or look over that left shoulder towards the right foot. And it's okay if you can't see it, but look in that direction. Now, take a big breath in and out. This feels good, right? Take one more breath. It might be a deep stretch for you. And now slowly turn your gaze forward. Lift that right leg back up. Point through the toes and maybe lift it higher. Breathing in as you exhale, step your right foot forward, dragging it there if need be with the hands, and then slowly lift up. Joining me in our first warrior of our practice. Breathing in and out. Kneeling warrior, knowing that whenever we do a warrior pose, whether it's standing or kneeling, you're welcome to take this variation. Again, do what feels good for you. Shoulders drop down your back, elbows bend a little bit. Now spread your fingers wide for energy. Stimulate these areas of our bodies, creating more space. Now take another big breath in, and as you exhale, float the hands down. Return to your hands and your knees. Hands and knees, stay in this pose, option one. Option two, child's pose. We've already been there. Option three, tuck the toes under, lift the knees and hips, and walk out what we call downward facing dog. Pedaling your feet wherever you are. Listen to your breath. Deep breaths in and out of the nose. Breathing in and expanding that exhale. This pose and child's pose are both great for stress relief. Lower the knees back down and now stretch your left leg back. Let's switch sides. Tuck the toes under, press through the heel. Remember in the chair that leg comes forward instead. Now belly muscles engage, Lift your left leg up. Point through your toes, look forward. Breathing in and out. Squeezing tight through the belly. One more breath. And now here's where we cross. That left leg behind the right. Tuck those toes under on the floor or left foot in front of right if you're in that chair today. Looking forward for a moment and then slowly turn your head. Turn it to the right. Looking towards that left foot. Breathing in and out. Now keep pressing through that left heel, guys. That's gonna help you really feel that stretch even more. Take one more breath and then release. Lift your left leg up. Great job, as high as you can. Again, point through those toes. Step your left foot forward and over time, Taking it as slowly as you need, let's come up. Kneeling warrior on this side, reaching up. Shoulders drop. Heart lifts. Can you open your heart a little more? Press your chest forward. So often we round our back, we slump down, right? And this makes us feel more stressed, more tired, more insecure. So let's really lift up through the heart through the head. Take one more breath, spread those fingers wide again, and now exhale, float the hands down. Return to your table, choosing to stay here, choosing that child's pose once more, or tuck the toes, 
One last time, let's try that downward dog. Lift it up. Walking it out, moving around. Stretching. Taking one more big breath here. And this time, look forward. We're going to come forward. Walk the feet to the hands. And you can take as long as you need to to get here. You can come here a different way if that's what you need as well. And now slowly slide the hands up the legs. Use these hands to help you stand up. Breathing in to reach up. And then exhale, just let it go. Roll out your shoulders a few times. Great work, everyone. How we doing? I hope you're feeling good thus far. We're in standing now. You can always do this from seated as well. First, begin by stacking the joints. Shoulders above hips, hips above knees, knees above, ankle, knees above ankles, excuse me. Standing up as straight as you can, shoulders down. Again, heart lifted, just like in that warrior pose. Find a spot in front of you. We're going to work on our balance. Maybe this means you have to get closer to the wall as well, or chair to hold on to. So safety first, right? But once you're making sure that you're safe, find that spot in front of you to focus on. Begin to press the weight into your left foot. So left foot presses down. Lifting your right heel. Stay right here. With the toes on the ground, the heel lifted. Now option one, just remain here the whole time. I personally like to open my arms, just helps me with counterbalance. Maybe you can try that too, see if it helps you. Do what works. Squeeze your belly if you're trying this, lifting your right knee. Breathing in and out. Know your body. Try to challenge yourself, but know when you need to back off. Breathing in. And uh, really focus on that spot in front of you. I know it's tough. Lower the toes down at any point, but give this a try, guys. We're going to open our right hip now and try tree pose. Now, my foot is above my knee right now, but know that you can also slide it down. You can even have those toes on the ground. Breathing in and out. Feel the hip opening. Open hips. Helps us to release more of that stress that we're here to let go of. Take one more breath and now bring that knee forward, guys. Step your right foot forward and turn your back toes out just a little bit. Now widen your stance here if needed. Reach those arms up, shoulders down, breathe it in. And now exhale, bend your right knee. This is warrior one. Remember, you can always lower that back knee down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, bend. Squeeze in the belly tight the whole time. The core is engaged. This helps to protect and strengthen the lower back. One last time. Now hold your warrior pose. Hold it lifting up. Beautiful, everyone. Take a big breath in and out. Release your hands by your sides and simply step your back foot forward. Shake it out. And now, let's all reach up. I might go a little wider with my feet at this point. If you're feeling a little wobbly at any point here as well, make sure you do the same. Relaxing the toes. We're now going to create standing circles. And I want you to go whatever direction feels right. To begin breathing in, we're going to lower down Bend into your knees, and as you exhale, slowly come up. Now, if you feel dizzy, stop. Join in once more when you're not dizzy, right? Breathing in and out. One more time in this direction. And then once you're standing up, stay right here. Lift up, shoulders stay relaxed, soften those knees. Here we go. Inhaling down and exhaling, lifting up the other side. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Go slower if you 
lead and out. This is no race. One last time. And out. Now lift up as high as you can. Breathing in. Exhale, relax. Again, roll those shoulders out. If your feet are wide, step them closer together. Find that mountain pose. And before we do the other side, simply be here. Breathing in. And out. Preparing to balance. Find that spot in front of you to focus on. Using the wall or chair if needed. Press down into the right foot this time and lift your left heel. This could be where you stay the entire time. Or open those arms, maybe. Give it a try, squeezing the tummy, lifting the knee. Make sure your foot is flexed. This will protect your knee joints. Breathing in. And out. It's okay if you're feeling wobbly. Just doing the best that you can. Relax. Keep breathing. Keep focusing. Open that hip. And then try out tree pose. Your version of tree. Modify as you need. Still pretty hard if you ask me. Breathing in and out. Taking another breath, really focusing. And now bring that knee forward, maybe lifting it a little higher. Stepping the foot forward, turning the back toes out and bending the front knee. Now make sure the joints are stacked. Very important in our practice in all of the postures. Left knee is over ankle and right toes are turned up just a bit. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, bend. Warrior pose is all about strength. Inhale and exhale. Remember, you can go wider. Inhale and exhale one last time. Hold this strengthening pose. And exhale. Can you lift the arms a little higher, keeping the shoulders relaxed as you do? Spread the fingers wide. Press your heart forward. Take one more breath, breathing in. And exhale, let it go. Excellent work, guys. Step your back foot forward. Just shake it off, move around. And then finding stillness. Breathing in and out. Scan your body from your head to your feet and notice what you do notice now. After everything we've done, working on strengthening, working on balance, working on opening up and creating spaces, notice where there are new spaces that weren't there before. Nice and easy, just take an inhale, stretch up, and exhale, slowly fold forward. From here, you can either take a seat or lower to your knees. Open your knees as wide as you can, and try that child's pose one more time. Sliding the arms forward or resting the hands under your forehead. Pressing the hips back as you bow down. This terrific Tuesday, because that's what it is, right? Let go of any feelings of stress, any thoughts of negativity that you're still experiencing right here and now. In this new moment, what can you release? What is holding you back or limiting you in some way? Breathing in through the nose. Let's all do it together. Open your mouth. Big sigh. Ha. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And then slowly lift up to seated, stretching your legs out in front of you. Now shake out those legs here, guys. Great work, I should say. You worked hard. We're going to open our arms. Just take a stretch up for a moment. And now as you exhale,
exhale, lower the hands behind you. Begin to bend your knees towards you so the knees point upward, your feet are slightly separated, just maybe about hips distance apart. Now my fingers are angled out in a way that they feel comfortable. Please make sure that your wrists and your hands feel comfortable in whatever position they're in. Pretending you're at the beach, imagining you're at the beach, just roll the shoulders back, lifting the heart, maybe looking upward if that's too much for the neck, just look forward. Option one is right here in the chair. You won't go any deeper than this. Option two, we're going to use our core using our triceps and shoulders as well now. Lifting up as we press through the feet with that exhale. Let's try that again, guys. Inhale. Tap the hips down. Remember, if it's too much, stay right here. Or as you exhale, lift it up. We call this reverse table. Inhale down. And exhale. This is really great for opening the heart. Taking about two more rounds, just going with your breath, maybe lifting up higher if you can. One last time, making this the highest one yet, the deepest one yet. Feel that space between the shoulder blades opening up. Lower your hips down, everyone coming down. Connect the bottoms of the feet and take seated butterfly. Seated butterfly, now know that the closer your feet are to you, the deeper the hip opener. You can slide the feet forward if it's too intense. Now lengthen the spine, maybe roll out the wrists. Oh yeah, after that work, that feels good. Shake out the hands. Rocking side to side a few times. Side to side. And then finding stillness. Open your arms for an inhale up, and now as you exhale, start to bring the hands forward onto your shins or below your knees, onto your feet, or maybe even walk the hands forward once or twice more, sliding them forward to open the hips a little more. Look forward. Try not to collapse in the back. Try not to round the back. Keep lengthening here, breathing in. And maybe as you exhale, you can fold the tiniest bit deeper. Heart melting towards the earth now, breathing in and out. Guys, we hold most of our stress in our hips. What else can you release today? Breathe it in and out. Take one final breath. Here we go. As deep as you can in that stretch. That feels so good for the back, so good for those hips. And now slowly, when you're ready, lift it up. Use the hands to bring the knees together. Now, holding on behind the thighs, we're coming back. It is that time. Here it is. Breathing in to wrap back and exhale to roll forward. You can certainly just come down if this doesn't feel good, remember, listen to your body. This next time you come down, bring the knees to your chest and give yourself a great big squeeze, maybe rocking side to side. That should feel really good for everyone. Now, hugging your right knee in, stretch your left leg out on the ground. Know that you can bend the left knee if having the leg extended doesn't feel good. Breathing in and out. Relax your toes. Relax your fingertips. Feel that stretch. And now use your left hand. Guide your right knee to the left and try a twist. Stopping where you need to stop or maybe turning onto your left side for a deepest twist. Take that right arm over to the right and look in that direction. Breathing in. And up. Relax your shoulders. Rinsing out the back one last time. Taking one more breath here. And then simply return to hugging the knee to the chest. Bringing both knee in, both knees in, excuse me, 
really big squeeze. And now stretching that right leg out, taking the other side. Relaxing as much as you can. No tension. With the right hand, guide that left knee to the right again, choosing to stay on your back or turning onto your side. Open the left arm to the left and look to the left here. Breathing all the way up through the cervical spine, the neck, and all the way back down to your tailbone. Creating more and more space. Taking another breath, let it be really big. And then slowly come onto your back. Hug both knees in one final time. Biggest squeeze yet. Thanking yourself for taking this time for you and your practice. If there's another stretch or pose you need, take it. Or when you're ready, extend the legs or bend the knees. Remember that knock knee position we started in. You can come back to that if that feels good. Get really comfortable for these last few moments of our practice. We did a lot of work for the spine today. Breathing into the back, maybe visualizing your breath going up and down the spine. Breathing out any remaining stress, pain, or negativity. Breathing in now what you need, what nurtures you, what fills your cup. Take it in. This final part of our practice is crucial. It's so important and needed. This is the time where we heal. This is where we nourish our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. Remembering that with every exhale we release that which does not serve us, those negative thought patterns, those past experiences, we learn from them, but we do not get stuck on them. We are present here and now. Hearing and feeling the sounds of your breath. yourself up to the beautiful gifts of now. Let's all bring our hands to our heart, one hand over the other, pausing in a moment of gratitude, just thanking yourself again for making this time for you. Breathing in through the nose, filling up with a big sigh, let it go. <sighs> and we think of all beings all over the world sending this peace and love to them as well. Namaste. Rest as long as you need. You guys did awesome. I hope you're feeling great after your work. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments, and thank you so much for your generosity and support. We love you, and hope to see you tomorrow. Have a terrific Tuesday, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Diane. Bye, Linda. Bye to everyone who joined us.